Today's topic, running your life like a project. Hi, I'm Doug Holt with author of Your Own Story, and this is your daily growth hack, where each day we'll give you a tip, trick, or insight to help you up-level what we call the five to thrive. That's your mind, your body, your soul, your relationships, and your business. Now, when I talk about running your life like a project, what I'm really talking about is a conversation I had with a friend of mine. Now, he's a business owner, and he manages several projects in a given day. He's really efficient at it. But when it comes to his life, when he leaves work, his life seems to fall apart. He looked at me and said, Doug, what do I do? Like, you know, I go home, my relationships are in shambles. I can't seem to get fit. My health, my energy are just down. I just can't manage all of this. And as soon as he said, I can't manage all of this, a light bulb picked off in my head. He's a project manager. So why isn't he managing his life like another project? So here's a tip that I learned a long time ago or a hack that I picked up. So I manage multiple projects across multiple companies, and the way I do this is by using project management software. So about three or four years ago, I started using the same exact software to manage my life. Now, it sounds like it puts a lot of restriction, but in this organization and management, there actually is freedom, and that's what I found. It really took me a long time to get around that. I had my own uh, perception of what freedom should look like. What I found out was when I organized things in the project management software, it allowed me to knock off those tasks quickly and efficiently. So what did I do? I went over and I used a software program called Teamwork PM. And I'll put something down in the notes so you can check it out too. And I actually manage all of our company's projects, both internally and for our marketing agency in particular, all of our clients. So I'm managing hundreds of projects in a given week. One of those projects, and the one that's most important, is my personal project. Now, why do I say it's the most important? Well, if I can't take care of myself, I can't take care of my family. If I can't take care of myself and my family, I can't take care of my clients and customers. If I can't take care of them, I can't also take care of my employees. If I can't take care of them, I can't take care of you. And I can't deliver these daily growth acts to you. So what I've done is I went over to Teamwork PM and I signed up for an account and I set it up. And for right now, I have one of my projects is, you know, Doug Holt 2017. Now, it's not a catchy name. I recommend you come up with a better one, but that's what I have right now is quick and dirty. Uh, but what I did is I broke it down into my five to thrive. And the reason we came out with this five to thrive was over decades of me taking personal development and business development, I recognized that there was five things that came into a holistic package. Your mind, your body, your soul, your relationships, and your business. Now, if you don't have a business, remember, if you haven't heard previous shows, your business can be a goal. If you're in school, that's your business. If you're retired, maybe it's philanthropy. But either way, these five things make up a holistic package or a wheel of life, so to speak. Now, what I've done is I've broken my project management into five major categories, into my five to thrive. And inside of that, I've come up with two items, keystone habits, so to speak, two items that if I do on a regular basis will get me to your goal, my goal, it make me be a better man, make me be the man of my dreams. Now, I'm already there to some degree, and I'm not comparing myself forward, but in comparing myself backwards, I can look at my accomplishments by looking at the tasks and milestones I've hit. So I've set my 90-day game. If you're not familiar with the 90-day game, go over to authorofyourownstory.com. You can find out more information there. But I've set my 90-day game as milestones. So every 30 days, I have to hit a certain milestone, just like I would manage my business. I have to hit daily tasks. It'll tell me, hey, your task is late. So one of my tasks, for example, is to speak Spanish, or one of my goals, I should say. So every day, I spend 45 minutes going through a Spanish audio and doing exercises. One of my other tasks is to work out. It's as simply to, as easy as checking off that list. Another task of mine is to reach out to a, a particular friend to make sure that they're doing all right. Now, maybe some people think, hey, look, you're reaching out to friends. You shouldn't have this on a task list. It's your friend. It's a heart thing. Well, it reminds me. It reminds me to put myself back in my center, and it works for me. And for business, I have goals for my businesses. What items should I do? In fact, for my business, one of my goals is to check the project management software because then I can manage all these projects and make sure nothing's slipping through the cracks and do what I do best in my companies, which is the high-level strategy, and that's where I excel, and that's where I can add the most benefit to my staff. So I've chosen to do this, and in talking to my friend who is a project manager, I said to him, hey, what if you manage your life like it were a project? He paused for a second and then all of a sudden you could see the light bulb go off in his head and he just got super creative and it fired up and he went right to work. 
And I'm proud to say that since I talked to him, he's actually successfully, successfully been managing his life, his relationships, his mind and his body. He's been going to the gym, he's getting his workouts in because you can look at it. Now, there's sometimes you may not get things done in your project management or in your software, your task or whatever it may be, and that's okay. You can set it up simply and easily. And remember, it's a game. This is life. It's supposed to be fun. You're here to enjoy it, please. So don't take yourself or the project management or, or your task or your to-dos or even your 90-day game too seriously. It's not worth it. But what it does give you is actionable items that you can knock off every day. And I encourage you to do these first thing in the day. I try to set these off in the morning. So before I do anything else, I have my, my PM for my life ticked off. Once that's done, myself, my heart, my body, my cup, so to speak, is full. And I can allow everything else extra that's inside of me to pour over into others. and allows me to give back exponentially. And my ultimate goal, as I've talked about before, is to touch the lives of over 1 million people in a positive way so I can make the world a better place. And that's what I'm trying to do today. So that's my hack for you today. I hope it's helpful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, go to the authorofyourownstory.com community. I'm happy to answer any of those questions on exactly how I use the PM and help you set up your own or what other questions you might have. Remember, go over to authorofyourownstory.com. Make sure you get on the wait list for the AYS University. Our university is launching September 1st. You will want to get in, I can guarantee that. It is absolutely phenomenal. The program myself and the team put together is world class and I want you to be in it. I want you to be involved. That's it for me today. As always, remember, go out and be the author of your own story. I hope you enjoyed today's daily growth hacks. Please put your comments right down below and remember to click subscribe. This way we can ensure that we're delivering these daily growth hacks right to you each and every day. On behalf of the whole team here, remember, go out and be the author of your own story.